Greetings and welcome to part 6 of my tutorial series on how to program the Kurzweil PC3. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to go over the basics of how to set up FM synthesis on the PC3 as well as give you a short demonstration of what FM synthesis actually is. So first of all we're going to start with our default program. I've already booted up the keyboard uh, but all I did was flip on the power switch. So I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to uh, pick none for my key map here and I'm going to turn off velocity tracking for now. Okay, now let's go to the ALG page and I'm going to pick algorithm number two. Okay, so FM synthesis basically is where you have one waveform modulating the frequency of another waveform. So let me show you how to set that up. First of all, I'm going to pick over here the block saw plus shaper. Okay. Now what this is, is this is a sawtooth waveform being fed into a shaper, but it also has an internal mixer. So anything that comes before it in the signal path is automatically added to the signal. So let's listen to just saw plus shaper on its own. And let's go ahead and pick a user envelope. There we go. Okay. So you have your basic, basic, uh, your basic sine wave. And that's what Shaper does. Shaper is a sine wave lookup table, and so as the sawtooth wave goes through Shaper, it essentially reads back uh, the, the table. Okay, so let's pick here, let's put a gain block here, and over here I'm going to pick a sine wave. Okay, so now we have a sine wave going into this uh, saw plus Shaper block. What the sine wave is going to do is this is going to modulate the frequency of the sine wave that's coming out of this block. Okay, In FM terms, this and this would be considered an operator. Actually, uh, you can throw in that gain block too as, as, as part of, of, of an operator. But anyway, so, so, so this would be considered operator 1 and this would be, along with the, um, the final output um, um, uh, uh, gain block as a as as another operator. In fact, let me just go ahead and put another gain block in here so that uh, it's explicit. Okay, so there's operator one, there's operator two. Let's go ahead now, and I'm going to show you what this sounds like. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start at a very low frequency here. I'm going to put this way down. Okay, I'm going to hold down a key, and I'm going to raise the frequency. Okay, so you could hear there that we had a very, we had a, a vibrato at a very uh, low frequency, and then as we went up, we started hearing a, a much sharper sound that had many more um, what are called partials in it, or harmonics. So, so that's a much richer tone than what we started with. Now let me show you why I have a gain block here. So let's go back to where we can hear this slow. Now I'm going to adjust gain. Okay, so there you can barely hear a little bit of modulation. Now at this, at, this, at these levels of gain you actually get this discontinuous modulation. Which is very interesting. And, and, and so uh, you can use that to essentially kind of go, it, it's, it's still frequency modulation, but you're no longer just um, smoothly modulating like a sine wave. You're now, you have a very discontinuous modulation. Okay, so that is how you essentially form two operators. Well, okay, so that's nice, but what if I want to have four? Okay, this is easy enough to accomplish. Let's go to the um, dupe layer page. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay, now we're on layer two. I'm going to pick a different, or I'm going to pick the analogous algorithm that has an input to two, which is 102. And I'm going to pick layer one as my alt input. Let's go back to layer one real quick here. And we're going to turn this down. Okay, so now I have layer one, which is operator one, operator two, going into layer two. Okay, 
Now I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to switch this block to be also saw plus shaper. Okay, so now I have four operators in series. So I have operator one and operator two off screen, they're on layer one, and then here would be operator three and here is operator four. This is what that sounds like. Okay, very, very sharp sound. Now, there, there are different ways that you can um, modulate things with, with uh, FM synthesis. One thing that you can do is we can turn down the gain. Okay, so for instance, I'm turning down the gain of operator three. And as I do so, it sounds more like a sine wave. But as I bring it up, the waveform starts to have more and more uh, starts to have more partials to it. Okay, let me go back to layer one. Let me bring this up to audio frequencies. Okay. Now on the uh, FM uh, on Yamaha's FM synthesizers, uh, how you pick pitch is. You pick uh, the first. You can pick one of the first 32 harmonics as sort of your rough pitch. Um, I, I actually have gone ahead and, and, and in future tutorial I'll show you this. I've, I've created a program that has all 32 harmonics in it, so it's real easy to just import layers from that program into your current program in order to um, uh, to, to wire together an FM sound. But uh, just to show you kind of what that looks like, here's my um, awesome paper where I've written out the harmonic series and sense. So uh, it, all, all of these um, are already in, say for instance, a DX7 or a DX100 or the TX81Z or, or what have you. Um, and so, so what you have to do in the PC3 is that when you want to program a sound, and let's say you want to use the ninth harmonic, okay, then you want to set this to the pitch of your ninth harmonic. So we'll say, for instance, that's a, about 38 steps. Uh, and, and then you can fine tune it. Um, the ninth harmonic is 3,800 cents plus 3.91, which is about four. So, okay. And, and so that's that's a basic introduction to, or that concludes my basic introduction to FM synthesis on the PC3. Uh, next time I'm going to show you uh, some stuff that I've already put together so that it's real easy to, uh, to program an FM synthesis sound. And I'm going to introduce to you how to um, optimize your programming by using programs that you don't play, but they store layers that you're going to import so that you don't have to set up a bunch of stuff uh, like we do uh, when I'm doing these tutorials. Okay, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.